And now, your local weather authority forecast. It's a humid morning, but it's a rain-free morning. This is a live look at the tall city early on your hump day, on your Wednesday morning. We're seeing black and white because we're before sunrise. We're seeing night vision. Very dark skies, black skies indicating not really much in the way of any clouds this morning. We will be seeing some clouds later this morning throughout the afternoon, but those clouds will not produce any rain in the tall city. Likely, we're going to be seeing temperatures closer to normal, a slightly warmer, slightly drier air inbound across the region as we still do notice though satellite and radar showing clouds and rain showers near the panhandle especially farther to the west in new mexico most of the basin rain free this morning some of those rain showers drifting farther to the south not really making their way into midland and odessa because of enough dry air in the upper levels hindering those rain chances from strengthening. Instead, they're weakening. Some light rain showers near Carlsbad and Hobbs. Very light, and most of these rain showers actually not even really reaching the ground because, of, again, enough dry air in the atmosphere for now limiting our rain chances. But in the lower levels, pretty cool, pretty humid to start. Currently sitting at 64, dropping in the lower 60s this morning, right around the 64 degree mark for your morning commute. More sunshine by noon, lower 80s, very nice by noon. Mid to upper 80s by the afternoon, muggy, a little bit more breezy. Those winds will start picking up from the south and east, allowing not only for the higher temperatures, 88 by 4 p.m., 89 for that high temperature, which is close to normal, but the easterly winds providing the humid air as we're still gonna be seeing some clouds later this evening with temperatures in the mid 80s still pretty warm by 8 p.m. Temperatures basin wide in the mid to upper 50s low to mid 60s pretty close to normal for this time of year to start and pretty close to normal for this time of year during the afternoon low to mid 80s from Marfa to Alpine. Those yellows and oranges indicate slightly cooler air in the basin because of slightly higher rain chances, but lower 90s will be the bigger story in the Trans-Pecos. Upper 80s, lower 90s from Midland, Odessa, and also in Big Spring. Not too shabby for this time of year. Overnight lows dipping in the 50s and 60s, partly cloudy with winds still coming in from the south-southeast. A bit lighter, though, at 5 to 15 miles per hour. We are going to be seeing slightly more clouds building in by the morning commute and throughout the afternoon commute. Thunderstorms near Carlsbad. The Davis and Guadalupe Mountains extending all the way into the Rio Grande. But anywhere east of the Trans-Pecos, likely partly to mostly sunny throughout the day today. Some green dots indicate a slight chance of rain, mostly, I think, north of the tall city today. And we are going to be seeing more clouds and more rain showers possible overnight to tomorrow morning west of the Pecos River Valley from Marfa, Van Horn maybe, moving closer toward Fork Stockton. Not really going to amount to too much. Tomorrow morning starting off in the 50s and 60s, but most areas above the 60 degree mark and pretty mild and humid tomorrow morning at 68. A bit warmer compared to what we're seeing right now in the tall city. The warm and humid air will really start to ramp up the atmosphere in terms of rain chances from La Mesa, Midland, Odessa, Fork Stocks, down near the Rio Grande. A marginal risk of severe weather tomorrow, meaning a low chance of hail and strong wind gusts. 89 today, 92 tomorrow, 94 on Friday. Late evening thunderstorms, cold front coming through this weekend. Slight chances of rain with lower temperatures ensuing.